Namaskar children today we are going to continue the chapter number 1 This is the second part of the chapter number 1 in the second part we are going to learn the generation of computer What do you mean by the generation In term of time it means age group For example you are your parents child similarly your father is your grandparents child so your parents are in the first generation of your grandparents and you are in the second generation of your grandparents hence in this case of your grandfather father and you there are three generation similarly the computer also has different generation computers are classified into five generation based on the technology used the way they work and their size let us see the first generation computer first generation computer time period was 1940 to 1956 in this time period whatever computer had been invented they are categorized as the first generation computer you can see this picture these are the first generation computer how much bigger in size they were what are the features of the first generation it used the vacuum tube technology vacuum tube was used for the electric current to pass in the computer it was unreliable it support only the machine language very costly slow in speed very heavy and large in size generates a lot of heat that means it consumes a lot of electricity and it had a very limited commercial use as they were difficult to program example of the first generation computer see this is the first generation computer inec second one is the univac this are the first generation computer if you compare the first generation with the today's generation computer you will see that they were very big in size very heavy and also expensive they consume a lot of electricity they were not portable also next we are going to see the second generation computer second generation computer fall in the time period of 1956 to 1964 second generation computer use the technology that is a transistor this is a transistor transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signal or electrical power three terminal for connection to an external circuit this is a three terminals that have been there is that is there in the transistor these three terminals are used for the connection to an external circuit mainly the transistors nowadays are available in computer as well as in radio and the calculator nowadays the transistors are not available but it was used in the second generation computer period now we can see this transistor in the radio and the calculator also features of second generation computer what are the features it was smaller and cheaper as well as faster compared to the first generation wider commercial use as they were easy to program than first generation example ibm 700 this is the example of the second generation cdc 160 they both are the second generation computer now you can see that the size is decreased compared to the first generation computer and it is also faster compared to the first generation computer now let us see the third generation computer third generation computer fall in the time period of 1964 to 1975 integrated circuits was the technology used in the third generation computer this is the integrated circuit integrated circuit is a set of electronic circuit on one small flat piece of semiconductor material that is normally silicon this is a small flat piece or you can tell a chip in a computer terminology this is known as a chip 
इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट इज मोर पावरफुल कंपेयर टू द ट्रांजिस्टर वेन अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर पुट टूगेदर दे फॉर्म अ इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट सो इफ आई यूज अ इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट कंपेयर टू द ट्रांजिस्टर इट वुड बी मोर हेल्पफुल when they are when the many transistor are placed together they form the integrated circuit and integrated circuit performance is high and it consumes a little power compared to the transistor now it is this integrated circuit is mainly used in the computer mobile phone and other home appliances also features smaller cheaper faster than second generation more accurate than second generation increased storage capacity as the integrated circuit was used in this generation it increased the storage capacity and it is also now known as the uh, general purpose computer compared to the second generation examples see this is icl1900 this is vax 750 now you can see from the first and second generation the size is now decreasing in the third generation the size is quite smaller compared to the first and the second generation so you can see one trend that the size is quite decreasing as the generation is increasing now the fourth generation computer it falls in the, the period time period of 1975 to the present time microprocessor is the technology used in this generation that is a fourth generation computer this is the microprocessor when you have seen the integrated circuit when a law when a many integrated circuit put together they form a more powerful that is the microprocessor it is the computer processor that incorporate the function of a central processing unit on a single ic that means when all the when many uh, integrated circuit are put together they form a powerful this is the microprocessor and this microprocessor oper operates on the number and symbols represented in binary number system before the microprocessor computer was using the circuit board with many medium or the small scale integrated circuit but now the microprocessor combine this integrated circuit that is the ic or the small chips that you have seen in the third generation it combines a lot few or the lot many and it forms a stronger that is the microprocessor features of fourth generation computer smaller cheaper and faster than third generation more reliable and accurate than third generation greater st storage capacity popularly used at homes and offices the fourth generation computers uh, mean the power microprocessor is mainly used in the desktop and this desktop was uh, nowadays is used in the homes and the offices example you can see icl2900 then the hp9000 next come the fifth generation fifth generation computer time period is from the present and the beyond technology used is that artificial intelligence what are the features intelligent like human being as the artificial intelligence technology is used these computers are intelligent like human being what is an artificial intelligence it is a technique with which a machine is made to think and take decisions like a human being the fifth generation computer as it is using the artificial intelligence it is able to think and take decision like us mainly used in area such as robotic and defense example that is a robots this is the uh, the robot used the mainly the artificial intelligence a robot works similarly like to a human being but it is not a human being artificial intelligence are being used in this robot to make the robot work 
so from each new generation what we have derived that the size is decreasing as well as the cost is also decreasing and what is increasing increasing is the speed reliability and the storage capacity in the first generation we have seen the size was very much bigger now in the fifth generation we can see or in the fourth generation also we have seen the computers size have been decreased as well as the cost have also been decreased and what is the increase what had increased the speed reliability and the storage capacity as well student you will write down the answer for the following question in your copy you will write the question and also the answer i will check the copy when the school will reopen in the next video we are going to learn the number system this is the end of the video thank you namaskar